what is poppin' yo, welcome back to another game review. Today, this game review, we are going to be talking about Halo 5. I have recently played it on the channel, but for you guys, it'll appear next month. So, do stay tuned for that. Um, it will be coming to the channel in a couple of days. Um, but Halo 5, it's a game that I have been playing for a long time now, and I think it is one of the better Halo games. Because it has a mixture of everything. It did what Overwatch couldn't. So, let's... Uh, Let's talk about it. So the main story, the main campaign, follows a new group of Spartans and Master Chief, and they're trying to find and help Master Chief, and sort of find him, hunt him down, and Master Chief is looking for Cortana. That's a really good story. We have our usual main character, our main hero, being the villain for this one, and seeing his actions from a different point of view, and seeing what he's doing from a different perspective. But that perspective sort of flips from the game, and sort of makes you play as him, so you can see his views, and then you play as the other team, and you see their views. And I like that, because it gets you a full sense of the story, and how everyone's feeling, and it gives you a better understanding. We also have a partner with the our, our, our Covenant. We, we make a bond with the Covenant, and we sort of play with those guys, we help them out, they help us out, and there's a massive battle at the end where Master Chief comes in, and we help him fight against Cortana, and at the end, Cortana fucking disappears, Cortana gets away, which pisses me the fuck off, I think that is such a shit ending, it is such a terrible ending, and had so much build-up and potential for nothing to come of it. So obviously there's going to be Halo 6 at some point, Obviously, this story is going to continue, and I'm a little bit upset that uh, it ended this way. I was ready to beat the shit out of Cortana. I was ready to whoop this Guardian's ass, and um, yeah, we didn't. We didn't do that. We did. We just uh, uh, we 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 just let it get away. And the gameplay is as good as always. Like the variety of guns is really cool. We have a load of new villains coming to the game with these robot-esque characters, bringing a new variety of guns with these laser cannons, these laser rifles, laser pistols, and also grenade launchers, which I think is really cool, which just adds some more weapons into the mix with the normal sort of human and covenant weapons compared to what we normally have. And we're fighting against Covenant and robots, and I'm going to be honest, these robots are slightly stronger than the Covenant, I've found anyway, but nothing beats running over to a grunt and punting it like 50 meters into the air with your Spartan charge. It feels so fucking good just to watch them fly away, and I couldn't get enough of that, but the story was really good because every time we had a cutscene it was beautifully animated it looked realistic it had this really nice sort of cgi to it this animation to it which made it look really cool and like a movie almost it had that movie quality to it and it was a little bit jarring to see the change from the cutscene animation to the game animation because obviously you can't have it the same because of like gameplay quality and issues like that but I still liked the level of detail that was in the cutscenes, and to be fair, the levels were quite boring. They all felt very similar with having to make your way to an objective, fighting through hordes of Covenant or robots, and obviously you, your ammo barely got you past the first wave of them, and you had to start picking up the alien blasters and the alien weapons, which, to be fair, I didn't mind. It just gave a little bit more variety into the levels with how the set was different, the enemies were different, and the weapons were different, but still, it's still the same premise, and it did get boring and a little bit repetitive, but nothing can get boring when you're punting grunts off a cliff and absolutely body slamming them into a wall or trying to body slam one of the bigger covenant soldiers and getting absolutely fucking denied it it's really fun um and again if you play with friends instead of playing alone i can imagine it would be a lot more fun but then again not a lot of people have friends so playing alone is obviously the main purpose of this and it serves its purpose, but it can get a little boring and tedious having to fight through so many different things, and what was boring and tedious was fighting the same villain, the sort of warlord, sort of destiny dude, I, I don't remember his name, I think it was like, I don't know, it was some warden type guy, 
and you had to repeatedly fight him like a good seven or eight times and it got boring and repetitive having to fight him constantly but i still enjoyed where the story was going until the end when it when it just dramatically ended like that i didn't think that was a good choice i felt like there could have been a better ending and we just didn't get it but this mode isn't the only mode in Halo 5. There is an online mode where you can play a load of different game modes from Infected to 5v5 to 10v10 to 50v50. And it is really cool because there's good game in here as well. There is many, many game modes that you can play. And those are some of the best game modes for when you finish the story. And you can practice with guns. You can take out your friends. You can play with a small group of friends. And you can even make your own worlds in this creative-esque mode so they did it before fortnite did it this is like the halo version of fortnite there is so much you can do to it so much you can play with it and it is so fucking cool there's even mods that you can download for the forge i do believe i downloaded a mod for thomas the tank engine where you could fly around in a thomas the tank engine and there's even like a load of other mods as well there's like a thomas the tank a shrek one and me and my mate used to have so much fun just fucking around in the forge and you know you can make a lot of memories in the forge you can make some beautiful sculptures you can make some beautiful builds or you could just ram your friend with a thomas the tank and either one is funny either one is good use of your time and if you don't want to play in Forge, there's all the other game modes, and Infected is my favorite one, and you do not know the fear of Infected until you play Infected. Running around a dark room, running around a dark, sort of, underlit area with a load of different people and your friends, and you're hearing the screams of the Flood Infected running after you, running around with the energy swords, and if they get you, you're fucked. Normally, my friends were and I were pretty, pretty shitty people, and crouched in one room, and shot whoever entered, um, yeah, we, we just camped in a room with, uh, one entrance, so if they did break their way through our barrier, we were fucked, but having four of us shooting at one door, they didn't have a chance of getting in, especially with their energy swords, so that's the game, there is so many different game modes, and so many different things to do, the main part of this that I wanted to go in is you can play the story online as well. So there is a lot of online features, a lot of online capability with this game, and sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not so good. And I have completed the story, and I feel like the online mode is a little bit dead because this game did come out like a couple of years ago, um, three to five years ago at this point. So I'm very late to the party. Um, I did used to play this quite a lot with my friends, and you will probably see a couple of clip videos uh, of like some of the funny things that we did on here. And it was it was fun when it first came out, but going back onto online recently, it is just sweats. It is just the sweats and the people that have stayed with this game, and it is so hard. I was trying to do the sort of red versus blue mode. And I was getting absolutely dogged on. So the online capabilities at the start, fun, random, everyone was on the same skill level. Now, coming back to it five years later, uh, yeah, uh, you're going to get absolutely fucking thrashed and destroyed in any of these lobbies because it is the sweats that are still playing and the people that have grinded and spent too much money on this game. There is also a battle pass system in this game, which I genuinely didn't remember or expect. So if you want a battle pass... You can, just to get a couple of new armors and stuff like that. And there's also a shop and a loot box system and a card system where you can unlock new sort of helmets and armors for your online character as well. You cannot modify or customize your story characters because they are set characters, but your own Spartan for the sort of online public domain, you're allowed to um, create and modify however you please. And you could even have a Covenant Soldier if you wanted to, instead of a Spartan, which I think is really awesome. But other than that, there isn't really much else to talk about. I think the online mode has turned to shit and pure sweatfest. The story mode was good until the ending. The animation CGI is perfect in the cutscenes and the game. And the music is perfect as well. Like, nothing can beat running into battle and hearing... Duh, 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 
Da, 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 da. It is it is such like an empowering tune, and it is in every Halo game. It fills you and makes you ready for war and ready to fight. It is so fucking cool. But other than that, there isn't much else to talk about. So I am gonna give this game an eight out of ten, because I think it does still have its flaws, especially with the ending and the state of online now. But obviously the state of online now is not the game developer's fault, it's the player's fault. It is genuinely disgusting how sweaty these guys are. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all next one. I hope you all have an excellent day and goodbye. And if you did make it this far into the video, please do consider subscribing because obviously, A, you like Halo 5, B, you like me as a content creator, or C, I have no idea why you're still here. But there is 98% of you which are recurring viewers and watch my content all the time but are not subscribed. Yes, YouTube ratted you out. I know who you are. So make sure you press that subscribe button down below to make that number a little bit smaller and make this uh group a little bit bigger and if you do like me and you do want to see me on other platforms there is a link in the description which will take you to my link tree where you can check out everything else that i have to offer as a content creator from my instagram to my twitch to my snapchat facebook uh cameo and tiktok all of that is down there but other than that i hope you all enjoyed this youtube gate youtube game youtube video let me know down in the comments what you think of halo 5 if you enjoyed it if you did if you have fond memories on it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye